Hi all, John at Bauhaus Performance. Today we're going to be talking about understeer and what every driver needs to know. For today's sections, we're going to go over understanding understeer, how to correct understeer, how car setup affects understeer, and driving styles and techniques to try to avoid understeer. First, let's go over some basic definitions. So understeer or push is when the front tires lose grip before the rear tires making it so you're unable to turn or turn as sharp as you would normally. When I talk about car balance, I'm talking about the balance of the car from grip in the front versus grip in the rear. So when I talk about a car that's balanced in the front, that means there's more grip on the front than there is in the rear. When I talk about tire overload, I'm talking about the tires exceed the grip potential that they have, so they start to slip. It's a common misconception that front wheel drive cars can have only understeer, rear wheel drive cars can only have understeer. That's not true. Um, both cars can, uh, can have the same uh, effects, both oversteer and understeer. All right, so let's talk about what understeer actually is. Um, so understeer, like we said earlier, is when the front tires lose grip before the rears. Um, so let's talk about how that can happen. Um, one scenario where that can happen is if you enter a corner too fast. So if it's typically a 60 mile an hour turn and you're coming in at 80 miles an hour, um, your tires are not going to be able to grip uh, as they normally would because you're coming in at a higher speed. Um, so if you try to turn the wheel at the same rate that you would at 60 miles an hour, they're not going to have the grip to accommodate. So um, that's a very common uh, way that you can get understeer is uh, turn in understeer is what that would be. Alongside that would be too much steering input. So when you are um, maybe in the mid corner or turning in, if you start turning and the, you know, you, you, you start turning, you have good grip and then you keep proceed to turning. What can happen is you've essentially over overloaded the tires because your turning angle is not able to replicate onto the actual racing surface. So the front tires start to slide. Um, so that'll be common in the uh, mid corner really all across the track, but um, probably most common be in the mid corner um, or potentially a turn in for uh, some novice drivers. You can also get understeer if your front tires are overloaded due to braking or weight transfer. Um, so what that would look like is you're braking really hard and then you go to immediately turn in um, and you're not gonna basically, because those tires are you know potentially overloaded at the braking point, uh, they're, they're not gonna have any grip on the initial bite of your turn in. Um, so that you can introduce some some understeer. Uh, and then also when you're transferring your weight, you know, going from uh, your braking to your throttle position on the apex, um, you know, when you accelerate, all the weight is going to go to the rear of the vehicle. And what that's going to cause is, you know, the front is going to have less weight on it, which means less grip. And so you're, you're going to be, you know, not have the grip that you need to actually exit the corner. And then if your tires are too hot or too cold, um, that can also introduce understeer. Um, so if they're too cold, uh, they can, you know, they're going to be basically like driving on ice if they're not warm enough because there's not enough, you know, tack to the tire uh, to where you can actually, you know, grip the surface as opposed to skating over it. Um, so you can, you can have some understeer uh, uh, that way. Also, if it's too warm, you know, if you, for example, if you did have too much steering input, you really just overloaded it in the last corner, uh, you may need to, you know, slow down and, and turn a little less uh, for the next corner because they could still be warm uh, to the point where, again, they're, they're, you know, the heat has basically, you know, made it so that the tires don't have the, the, the you know, are not in the temperature range to accommodate for any sharp turning. To correct understeer. The main thing that you're going to want to do is reduce your steering input. Uh, so what that looks like is uh, some people call it, you know, wheel shuffling or um, something like that. But it's going to be basically if you're in a 90 degrees to the right configuration with your wheel, uh, what you're going to want to do is start bringing it back to, you know, 45 degrees, you know, basically back to straight uh, to a certain extent to let the tires regain that grip, find where you have uh, grip and then try to give it a little bit more. Uh, turn in to see if you can uh, get a little bit more out of it. Um, so you're kind of balancing the wheel to try to see where you can get the grip and where you can't. Um, but the first thing, if you do have understeer, the first thing you want to do is not instinctively turn more. It's actually the opposite. You want to unload the steering wheel to see if you can get back to a point where 
you have uh, grip on those tires. The goal is to make it so that you know the the turn that you have on the wheel matches the turn rate that you would have on the vehicle. The other thing that you can do is try to move the weight of the vehicle. Um, what this can be is easing off the throttle or braking smoothly. Um, so, for example, if you're you know braking really sharp uh, and then lifting off, uh, what that's going to do is move all the weight of the vehicle to the rear which is going to unload those front tires. So you're not going to have any weight that's loading up those fronts to the point where you won't be able to, to turn, right? So uh, be more gentle with your inputs and that will help you alleviate some of the understeer. Alongside that is going to be improving your weight transfer. Um, so trail braking can help with this, right? Uh, doing smooth inputs, like I talked about, you know, really smoothing out the inputs is going to help uh, load the tires in an even way where there's less of a, you know, unsettling of the car where the weight is immediately all going to the rear, which means that, you know, for that time, you're not going to be able to get the turn in, uh, that you need, or, you know, potentially the exit of the corner. Um, so just, uh, you know, manage your weight transfer so that you're keeping as much grip on those fronts. If you are having understeer to try to, uh, power out of it. And then you can also play with car setup to try to, you know, alleviate some of that, uh, that, uh, understeer, um, big, biggest thing for, you know, on the track or at the track is going to be, you know, you can drop those front tire, uh, pressures to try to increase the surface area that the tires have with the road. Um, that, that can be helpful to try to regain some front grip. Um, if not, you can also play with the, the front bar, uh, which we'll talk about later and also soften up the front suspension. Okay. So let's look at some examples of understeer. Um, so the first thing that we're going to look at is turn in understeer. Uh, so this is you're in the, you're in the braking zone, you're getting ready to turn in, or you have turned in, um, and you find out that, you know, you're not able to accommodate, uh, your car is not able to accommodate the inputs that it's being given. Um, so this will typically happen, you know, in every car, front wheel drive, rear wheel drive car. It's usually a function of coming into the corner too hot, um, and missing the apex. So the main thing that you can do is try to reduce your speed to try to reduce that arc, um, that you have, um, and regain some of the grip. You're also going to want to unwind the wheel to, uh, to try to find, uh, where you can gain some grip. Uh, again, and uh, really just it's going to be a function of slowing down, unwinding the wheel to the point where you can get close to the apex. Um, but if you're really, you know, if you're really pushing it and you've come in too hot, you're kind of scrapping that corner, you're going to miss the apex. So try to stay on track, try to salvage what you can, um, and uh, and try to uh, try to do better on the next lap, next corner, next everything. So, um, Again, main thing is just going to be to slow it, slow it down, you know, try to stay on the brakes for a little bit longer, um, and then unwind the wheel. That'll help, um, you know, slow you down even more. And then when you do get to a speed that you think you can manage, uh, try to get back into a, a more aggressive turn and, uh, and try to get into that, to that corner. All right. The next type of oversteer that we're going to talk about is your power out oversteer. Um, so this is going to be really common with your front wheel drive cars. Uh, so you get to the mid corner, you're, you know, trail braking, trail braking really well. Um, and you get on the throttle really aggressively and you find out, okay, I'm getting pushed too far out of the corner to the point where I don't think I'm going to make it. Um, I'm, I'm extending beyond the, the track limits. Um, so this is going to be where you run into, you know, your, your, your power out understeer, right? So what you're going to want to do in this scenario is you're going to have to get off the gas because that's really going to be one of the only ways that you're going to be able to, to, uh, reduce your arc. So hop off the gas, you know, in a smooth, smooth manner to try to not upset the car. The first thing that's going to do is put more weight on those fronts, uh, just by lifting, it's going to move that weight more towards a neutral position. Um, so you'll have some more, uh, grip there. And then the other thing that you're going to want to do is unwind that wheel, try to get it more towards a straight position. It seems counterintuitive and can be a little bit scary when you already feel like you're going, you know, past the corner or out of the, uh, out of the, off the track. 
Um, but you are going to need to do this because otherwise you, you can salvage it if you do that. You unwind the wheel and, and left, let off the accelerator. But if you don't do that, there's a guarantee that you're going to go off track, right? So unwind that wheel, uh, lift off the accelerator, try to get as much weight on those front tires as possible, and try to salvage as much of the corner as you can. All right, let's talk about car setup and how you can reduce understeer with that. Uh, the first thing that you're going to want to do is drop the front tire pressures. That'll make it so that the contact uh, with the racing surface is going to be greater because there's less tire pressure. It's going to create a larger uh, contact patch with the racing surface. Um, what that'll do is help you um, get a little bit more grip potentially, but it's also going to introduce rolling resistance and also you know, increase your tire uh, temperatures. So just keep that in mind. You can also play with the alignment settings. Potentially going with a toe out in the front can help with uh, initial bite going into the corner. Uh, camber, you can play with the camber to see uh, what's gonna work. Um, ideally, what you're gonna want is for the majority of the corners or the important corners to have uh, it be the tire that's on the outside to be rolling over and have a flat uh, contact patch. And then caster, there isn't a huge effect on caster with understeer. Um, what I would recommend is going to the forums for your specific vehicle to see what other people use and try to um, use your other tools in your toolbox like your toe, your camber, and some of the other stuff that we'll talk about to, uh, to dial out some understeer. You can also work the suspension stiffness and the anti-roll bars. Um, so what you can do is soften the fronts to see if that can help you know, add some grip to the front. Or if needed, you can stiffen the rear to try to make it so that uh, the car is more balanced uh, towards the front of the car. With the anti-roll bars, um, like I said earlier, you can soften the front bar to try to, uh, to try to get some more grip there. Or same thing as the suspension stiffness, you can um, increase the stiffness in the rear to try to balance out the car. Um, first steps that I would do would be to soften the front, see how that goes. Um, but if that doesn't work, then probably throw, uh, you know, go, go uh, stiffer. Uh, stiffer bar in the rear and then weight distribution and balance if you do have ballast um, you can start moving the ballast forward to see if that helps with the understeer um, or you know if you have um, some you know accessorial components that you have in the vehicle that are stored more towards the rear you know maybe you have um, your radio or something like that you can try to push that closer to the firewall to see if you can get at least a little bit more weight um, onto those front tires, but that's kind of a last resort option would be, you know, work in the weight distribution. So for driving styles and techniques, um, the main thing that you're going to want to do is have slow and deliberate hands. So, you know, slow down your hands to make sure that when you are turning in, um, you're not immediately, you know, hammering a 90 degree angle on the wheel or something like that. You want to kind of slow into it. Um, that way you're going to be able to better feel where you're actually losing grip. Um, so, you know, take it, take it slow with the turn in, um, and find where you can actually hold some grip, um, at the point where you do feel the grip start to loosen, you know, you start to slide those front tires. What you're going to want to do is unwind the wheel, um, to try to bring it back to center, back to where you have grip. And that again, the the movement of the wheel is matching the movement of the vehicle. Trail braking can also help um, avoid some of the uh, the issues that you're going to have with, you know, unsettling the car. Um, if you're if you're not trail braking, um, this can cause some of the weight to go to the rear in a more aggressive fashion, making it so you lose that front grip that you need. So by trail braking, you can try to keep uh, that transition. Um, between the front and the rear tires as even as possible for as long as possible so that you maintain the maximum amount of turning as you can. And then when you're coming out of the corner, um, avoiding an early throttle can be helpful. Um, as you saw earlier, um, by getting on the throttle, you know, really aggressively, it can lead to, you know, you, you having not as much room as you think to play with, uh, especially if you're not looking far enough down the corner. Um, so, you know, try to, you know, potentially get a little bit later on the throttle and uh, feel out that corner to see when you can get on the throttle without introducing some understeer. Alongside that, um, having a later apex definitely alleviates this problem. Um, that's going to mean that you're going to have a straighter exit out of the corner. Um, so that'll really help you with 
um, not not introducing uh, any understeer if you're you're straighten out your exit out of the corner. And then finally, staying off the curbs will really help. Um, the curbs can really upset front wheel drive cars um, and rear wheel drive cars, but probably to a lesser extent. Um, but so staying off the curbs, especially in the mid corner, what it can lead to is really, you know, unsettling the car once you get off the curb. So, you know, if it's really bad enough, try to stay off those curbs um, as much as you can, because that can really unsettle the car and introduce a lot of mid corner to exit understeer um, by, by getting on those curbs. All right, I hope this video was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Uh, our contact information is below as well if you uh, want to message us directly. If you did like the video, we appreciate it if you do like and subscribe. And uh, with that, we'll see you in the next one. All right, thanks, y'all.